I want to take you through an ASOE Nokia BTS for 5G and 4G installation. You can see we have two ASOE here and the two can be used as 4G and as 5G at the same time. What actually different is the software that is on it, especially the XCF file. So from here, we can see the 5G overviews. And what makes you see that it's 5G? Anytime you're having 5G and 4G on sites, in every site I have 5G, there will always be 4G. But there are some sites that might only have only 4G. So from here, based on the XCF file, you can see that we have three sectors. This is for Momo, this is for 5G, this is for Momo. Which means that in every 5G module on the tower, we have two fiber. One for port one here and also for port seven here on the same module. Which means one is used as Momo. So we can see the whole name, but it can also change based on this XF file. The SFI is one that will tell you which ports to use. But most especially you should notice here is that from 5G, when you have 5G and 4G, you see that it's only 16 HDMI ports that is connected to. Which means that this scene is using as a cascading. It's used to cascade to the 4G. And also, there's another fiber port here that is connected to ES EF1 which you also use to cascade from the 5G to the 4G so which means at the 4G area which I'm not open it you can see that you have your power cable your followed by your alarm cable followed by your cascading or followed by your GPS cable then followed by the cascading cable. From the C in of 4G, it enters C out. For the C in of 5G, it enters C out of 4G. Of, of 4G. Then followed by your Haga and other hazards that was using. So these are the overview of ASOE installation. So you can see it's fully outdoor installation. You can see how it's been assembly and being put on a pole thank you so much for turning him to this channel subscribe for more of this video thank you